Wow. Completely not ready. <laughs> totally did not have my microphone over near me. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Happy Saturday afternoon. Well, if you weren't here last night, you missed the wrapping up of Metroid Prime 2. Yay! And uh, I couldn't have done it without uh, the help of y'all out there. Especially the Dark Samus. It was not obvious what you had to do there, but um, with some help from uh, Houston and, and the Taco Division, <laughs> um, some, uh, figured it out and finished it up. Actually, it wasn't too hard once you figure it out. Um, but yeah. And so we're moving on to Simon, uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, the second of the Castlevania games. The first one was pretty hard. So, uh, I have been told by everybody, as we were just me and Mega Mario Bear were just talking about in the chat, that this game is impossible without help. Because, uh, well, I've heard it's worse than the Zelda 2 of Castlevania series, that you literally don't know what to do. Like, oh, you were supposed to have this item here. Why did you get rid of it? And so, it's very much a. They don't tell you what to do. You're just supposed to figure it out. And of course, you know, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so, so we're just going to, um, I mean, it'd be better if they helped you, but I I've heard it's, it's, it's really bad. So, uh, we're going to be playing, uh, this game today. This is actually on the switch. Um, this is the Castlevania, uh, anniversary collection, I think is what the, Apps called if you're interested in it. It's on sale in the in the Switch store and it has all the classic uh, Castlevanias on it. And so that's what we're going to be playing on. So if you see me picking up this the Switch controller, that's why I would have used these. But guess what? They don't work with this game. Uh, there's no way to bring up the uh, the special menu on it. Which if you had a Joy-Con, you would have used one of the shoulder buttons but this doesn't have one of the shoulder buttons. So I will not be using my NES controllers on this. Hey, I'm barely me. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Um, so after Castlevania 2, we're going to be playing Metroid Prime Hunters, which is a DS game that was released after Metroid Prime 2. Um, hey, Arcade Bear. But there is a big, long list of games we're going to be playing after Metroid Prime 2. And the way I have decided to do this is it's a poll. And uh, so here's the poll. And what you do is you pick your first pick, your second pick, your third pick, your fourth pick, and your fifth pick on that big long list. And I, if, if, there, if, if there's a first pick I will, I, that wins, I will pick that one. So, um, so it's going to be, I can kind of tabulate it. I'll have to kind of work on tabulating the results. But I figure once I do that, uh, <laughs> I figured out once, once I do that, then it will, uh, um, funny Meg Uh I'll figure it out. I'll figure out how to tabulate the results. But it's, there are a lot of games on it. Um, I could actually go through it real quick. We went, we went through it on, on stream last night, but if you weren't here, uh, so I could continue Metroid Prime and just do Metroid Prime 3 uh, Corruption. Uh, Castlevania The Adventure, which would be the next Castlevania game. Uh, Pikmin 2, Mass Effect, the first Mass Effect in the Legendary Edition is what I'd be playing. Yakuza 1, Bayonetta, Shantae, uh, Little Nightmares, Medieval, Donkey Kong Country, Rune Factory, Wolfenstein 3D, which I got for $1.25 on Steam last night. <laughs> Steam sale. <laughs> yeah, I went, I went through the Steam sale to see if any of these PC games were available. I think I, I picked it. Well, I'll keep going. Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Super Monkey Ball, Sonic the Hedgehog, which I got, I got today in the mail. Uh, Fable. Uh, Person the original Persona, Revelations Persona. Elder Scrolls, the original one. Mega Man Legends, Legend of Dragoon, Spirit Fair. Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, Undertale, The Wild at Heart, Mario plus Rabbids, the first one, 
oh my goodness, Olympus, I can't believe you put me put this on there. Hatsu Miku, I hope I pronounced that correct. The Project Diva Mega Mix. <laughs> I know that was you. <laughs> the Wonderful 101, which I saw a post that <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful Joe, which is the same makers as Wonderful 101. It's like the 15th anniversary of, of Beautiful Joe, which I can't believe it's already been 15 years that that game. Um, a, 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 a Kruga? Prey, Hades, and Tumba. That's all of them. So, uh, go out there, vote. There's, there's the link again. And, yeah, pick your, pick your first pick, your second pick, your third pick, your fourth pick, and your fifth pick. And it won't let you pick multiple times and stuff like that. So, so there you go. So do, do your voting, and I will tabulate it. Uh, we'll probably do two days. So at the end of the, the end of tomorrow's stream, oh no, I won't be able to tabulate it. We'll, we'll end polling at the end of uh, tomorrow's stream. There you go. You done voted? All right, cool. <laughs> um, let's see. That's it. Let me pull up the, the guide here that I'm going to be using for this game. Uh, goodness, an ad is right in the middle of the guide. Okay. All right. All right, let's, let's, let's start uh, some Castlevania. All right. Oh wow, look at these graphics. You can barely see the character. Okay. Okay, that seems the, the same. All right, so the so the the guide <laughs> Oh, you put Bayonetta in there? All right, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, this this is not Metroid Prime 3. <laughs> All right, it says, it says, begin by exiting the town on the eastern side, following by going right to kill a skeleton and two wolfmen. Now move back and forth between these two wolfmen as they regenerate, killing them to build up a collection of 100 hearts. If it is, if it is nighttime when this is reached, keep on fighting these two to rack up more hearts. Once the day break hits, head west to re-enter the town. All right, seems like a straightforward first part. Yeah, they definitely tried something with this game. I guess I need to go down. Is there... Well, I guess it doesn't. Well, you can barely see the meter, too, on the, on the left. We got clashing colors. Uh-oh. Here we go. Where's the... There's no... It would be nice if they put the, the hearts on the pot on the screen. <laughs> well, you know me, I'm I'm not speed running. Oh shit! Fuck. Again, I don't like how they use hearts as currency, and it doesn't mean health. <laughs> That's true. The the music in these games has always been top notch. Uh -oh. What a horrible night to have a curse. Oh, we're cursed. Oh, I only get half hearts now? Oh, I see. The, the monsters are harder to kill at night. Shit, why can't I turn? I guess 
guess I should have saved. Oh, okay. Well, they look like they look like half big hearts, though. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I see why I'm getting caught up right there. The the rock there is the same color. It's blue, and I didn't notice from the texture that it was that it was worse. Ooh, he jumped and threw me off. All right, we have a hundred, but it said, it said keep going. Hey, unexpected enemy. It said keep going to the end of the night. It's interesting that it has night and day. Yeah, I'm having to hit him four times with the whip instead of two. I thought it was saying I was cursed that I was going to turn into like a werewolf or something. It would help if they didn't jump like that. me getting fancy and I don't need to. Oh, so they kind of knew that the, that building was not looking good? We were talking about the building collapse over in Miami, which is crazy. All right, the morning. They're still creatures. As I say, that last. The last guy had to hit four times. He must have been left over from the night before. <laughs> At the church. Ah, okay. <laughs> let me look, let me look for the church. Is this the church right here? Oh, let's see. Hold on. I think it said we needed to buy holy water. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Climb the nearby stairs and speak to the fellow in the gray cloak to obtain a white crystal for 50 hearts. Followed by entering the door that lies nearby to purchase holy water for 50 hearts. It's weird that hearts... Uh, it's weird that hearts are the currency. Right. Okay, we got we got we got holy water. All right, it says all that remains in this town is to purchase a thorn whip, but it is best to skip purchasing it. Not worth the money for the time you would use it. Instead, head out of town, going east once more. Battle past the various wolfmen and skeletons of the first screen to find a wide river to be crossed via a bridge that has seen better days. <laughs> hey, Summer Flare! Yeah, this game was probably... Because this, again, it came out in... 
what, like 86? It was still a very early game for the NES. And so it was probably, you know, you're talking about pre-Zelda, right? Let's see, Legend of Zelda came out... Legend of Zelda. It came out in 87, 82287. And this game came out in 88, okay. So they were probably trying to compete with Legend of Zelda. Okay, let's uh It's got good music though. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh let's see. Alright. Alright, so the yeah, the bridge has seen better days. Complicating matters will be constant attacks from the water in the form of fishmen <laughs> who are able to leap up to attack at the worst moments. So be ready to whip them mid-jump. Take the high path to the next screen. Whipping the skeletons along the way. Finding more skeletons near the next area of attack. Use this area to get at least 150 hearts before going down the stairs. As heading right will lead to the next town. Okay. Yeah. The, yes. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> that's what it said. It said, buy the white crystal. I guess that's from this person. Okay. So where was the where was the uh, where was the church? Is that here? Oh yeah. There we go. Nice. All right. So I'm going to. Create a save point. Right. Where was the exit? I thought those squares were the exit, and obviously it was not. Okay. So it said go back. Back to where we were. Whoever was rocking on the MIDI music. These seem better than the skeletons from the first game because the skeletons in the first game came back. Ooh, guy. Oh, I can. Okay, great. Oh no. Here's the fishman. <laughs> they shoot fire. Why would fishmen shoot fire? Oh shit, I am not jumping well. It seems like fishmen would shoot water, not fire. Shit. Am I gonna go all the way back to the beginning? Oh, no, I didn't. All right, let's, let's, um, let's reload, though. Let's load that again. Yeah, water for, exactly. I think what we'll do is we'll, um, I'm going to save it right before we get to the, the other part. It allows me to jam on this. Hudson River. Oh. Okay, so now let's save again. I don't like how they have one slot to save in, but oh well.
Gracias. Ah. Why do they have to be so short? They weren't lying when they come out at the worst times. That I don't mind. Oh. I need more Diet Coke, obviously. Oh, look at that. I was gonna say I need a longer whip, but um, yeah, it's... But it looks like I can kind of have one foot off the the edge, and it's okay. I was trying to time it so that as he was coming down, I would whip him. I just realized I'm doing the same thing as uh, it's Nintendo and it's not the same. I was stupidly hitting the both shoulder bu or both uh, bumpers or shoulder buttons, and I didn't need to. Left foot. Yeah. Boom. That's what I was trying to do earlier. I guess I need to wait for him to land. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm just doing it too early. That was my, my Mario in me. I was like, I need to pick up speed for this run. There's probably no no momentum. Be like <laughs> There we go. Yay. Save. <laughs> All right, it said take the upper path. We gotta get that heart. Oh, I guess I guess I can't get that heart. Oh, can I? Oh, oh I forgot about holy water. Well, is it infinite? Am I losing? Am I? Uh, I don't even know how to throw holy water. How do I? How do I throw holy water? It's infinite. Okay. Up B, you think? Okay. No. Look at controls. Whip, whip, jump. <laughs> that helped. Oh, I wonder if it's something where I have to uh, select it somehow. 
Yeah, see? Okay. Or I guess it is selected. Yeah, to equip it. Yep, that was it. But it's not doing anything. Maybe because I'm up on the stairs? Or I actually probably have to hit the creature. Yeah. I was thinking of it, it was like the last game where it did like a little flame or something, but it obviously it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like it was like uh, the last game. Oh, that's true. I, I forgot about uh, wall. Wall food is probably still in this game. Oh no, it's nighttime. Um, did it say I need to go down the stairs? Battle passed. Da, 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 da. Take the high path to the next screen. Whipping skeletons along the way. Find more skeletons near the start of the next area. Use this area to get at least 150 hearts, which I don't. Um, before going down the stairs. Okay. are probably skeletons from the daytime. Daytime skeletons are... I need 150 again? Is that what it said? It's me and my memory. Did it break some bricks. Shit. That jump is challenging. I like it how it didn't kill me right away though. You know, it might be easier to go this way. Oh shit, <laughs> or not. Oh, did I level up? Okay. It's <laughs> did I start at level zero and now I'm level one? Because it still said level one. I'll, I'll look in the here. Let's look at the guide. Hey, army of posters. How's it going? Uh, let's see. It says, yeah, you, you're gaining experience. You gain levels. Experience is gained by collecting hearts. And every time, time Simon reaches a certain total, his life bar will increase slightly and his life will automatically be refilled. Um, the experience total will reset to zero on every level up, or when Simon loses all of his lives. The total experience gained by heart type is below, as is the amount of levels that can be gained in the game. There's like only six levels. <laughs> yeah, I've, so everyone is telling me this game is it's impossible shit without uh, without a guide. So we are cheating a little bit in getting a guide and using a guide. Nintendo Power Health, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I 
we were, we were watching some documentary on on all the people who were behind. Well, not, not they weren't they were on the call the call. You could call a a, a help person. Yeah, Nintendo had like experts at the games that you could call. Uh, I can't remember which one. It was probably the Netflix. Uh, I'm trying to think of the ones we watched recently. I think it was the Netflix, most recent Netflix uh, documentary on. Uh, can't remember which one, which one it was called. All right, it's morning. It has vanquished the horrible night. Yeah, the Nintendo tip line. Yeah. I feel like I here. Let's let's do another. We're gonna do another save. High score. I think it was high score. I can't either. <laughs> well, they showed like they had notebooks and notebooks of, of of things about the game to help people with. I use all of you as my help helpline. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Could you imagine all the kids that were calling and you'd be helping kids all the time? Ah, uh, that would be... That would go, drive me crazy. And, and, and some of the solutions would be like, well, you just need to get better. <laughs> or you could give tips, I guess, on how to kill, you know... But I'm sure you would get things where it's like, uh, yeah, you just gotta do this. Sorry you're not very good at the game. So this heads to the town. Why doesn't he die? All right, let's look back at the guide here. <laughs> okay, the main objective here is to purchase the chain whip, but the dagger is also a solid purchase. The dagger is found in the first door, o door of town. Use holy water on the walls at the back of the room to find the salesman with the dagger. While the chain whip is in the in a doorway on a raised platform. Use holy water on the floor near the entrance to go down into the hidden basement, purchasing the chain whip for the steep 150 hearts. So it sounds like I need the chain whip. <laughs> well, Zelda 2 was the one that I didn't finish. I played all the Legend of Zeldas except that one. And so I, j I gave up on it because I was so frustrated. I'll go. I'll come back to it eventually. Especially because I wasn't using the... I wasn't using the, the saved states and I should have been. I should have been using it the whole time and I wasn't. I think that would have helped me a little bit. All right. So it's saying, while well, the chain can be found in a doorway on a raised platform. Okay. You know, well, can I die here? This, this seems awfully dangerous. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's like saying, uh, yeah, you're trying to you're trying to get people to um, to spend money on the on the tip line, like that's your revenue stream. Well, of course, you make the game really hard, right? Well, he said a door on a raised platform. Okay, there's a door on a raised platform. It's so stupid that this stuff is hidden. What, and then I drop in? Oh, really? Are you gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do I have to equip it? Or is it... it oh, no, it is equipped. Okay. Because it's my main weapon. Alright, so we have the chain whip. Woohoo! <laughs> what did the old man tell you? Did you equip the eye, equip the eye, then? No. That's the heart. What do you mean? <laughs> well, that's what someone was telling me earlier was... There are things about this game that you have to do things at a certain time, otherwise you don't... Yeah, he, they're like, it's impossible. You should just get a guide. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it's not telling you anything of how, how to do it or anything. All right, so... With this shopping spree all finished up, it is time to exit the town the way Simon entered. Climbing back up the long staircase, head east from here, battling through the skeletons. On the next screen are more skeletons and a single fisherman. So avoid his fireballs and let him retreat before crossing the water. There are more skeletons and single fishermen. Avoid his fireballs and let him retreat before crossing the water. Passing through the area to find an ominous structure ahead. This is Berkeley Mansion, the first stop for the ominous quest of recovering the spread out body parts of the deceased Count Dracula. <laughs> it that's what it seems like. Everything is so vague. All right. And and I'm still going to complain that why are hearts the currency? They couldn't they couldn't make it like gold pieces? Why? Why are the hearts currency? How, how do I get out of here? Oh cool, the chain whip looks cool. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, so it said go back from whence I came. I bet you these people tell you stuff, right? You've got a friend, wait, waiting for you in the town of Aljiba. Okay. This guy said, you look pale, my son. You must rest in the church. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Or just how to get to the warp worlds, right? I mean, I'll, I'll say Simon is styling with his chain whip. Oh no, it's night time. up again. Hey, okay, here it is.
All right, cool music. <laughs> That's true if you think about it too. And there wasn't, back then there was no like, hey, I'm gonna send you this file or this picture. You had to describe everything over the phone. So that would have been difficult. Especially to like eight, nine year olds, right? Yeah, it would have been tough. All right, so we're looking for the rib. All right, equip the white crystal immediately to make an invisible platform appear. You can ride it without the crystal, but it will not be visible to the naked eye. So jump onto it and ride it up to allow Simon to jump across the blocks on the right. Use the dagger, which I didn't get. It's available to kill the knight on the ledge ahead, leaping across the gap, go through some skeleton swordsmen. Um... I'm in the first stale case, which goes upward. Move to the left while killing slimes in a gargoyle. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Army of Toasters. <laughs> My studies? I'm sorry. We'll come back. Come back. Thank you for following. The, the music is really good in this game. I'll give it that. Oh, I should have equipped. How do I equip the crystal? That is... Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, this this music is, is great. Alright. Okay, I see. Uh, okay. I gotta pay attention to where it... Gotta use my Mario skills here. Yeah, this is. Oh, well. I was about to say, this is where the dagger would be helpful. Did it say go down? So confusing. Alright. Go through some skeleton swordsmen. Climbing the first case, the case that goes upward. hidden platform anyway. Yeah, that's kind of what it said, but I'd rather uh... Wait. Oh, okay. Find the first staircase that goes upward, but it may not... I guess it may not be angled. Okay. Where's wall food? I missed the wall food from the first game. Oh, shit. Or slime. <laughs> All right. Climbing the first game, we move to the left while killing slimes and a gargoyle, reaching a set of ledges to leap up. Okay. So far, the slime has been pretty easy. Oh, that's true. I forget about it sometimes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, it doesn't create the little fire like it did in the last game. <laughs> Thanks for the tips. Okay, here's the... Oh, I see. I see what you're saying, though. Shit. Fucking gargoyle. Oh! Oh, it didn't kill him. I thought it would kill him. Yes. <laughs> It's just, it's a tradition in this game to have wall meat, and it, Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, is there no wall meat in this game? I liked the wall meat in the last game. There we go. Oh, I see, it kind of slows them down. Move up the left, reaching a set of ledges, leap up. Alright, kill the knight, leap 
across the gap to the left, scaling the stairs to the wall, walk to the right, killing swordsman, reaching the end of the ledge. Hey, Lost Wolf. How's it going? <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh great! Of course he, of course he came back. Come on. I wish, I wish it did the little fire like it did before. I don't know why every time I say fire, I have to do this. But. <laughs> you don't remember the wall meat from the first game? The first game had wall meat. You would, you would, you would whip a block, and there would be meat in the in the in the wall like a fresh a fresh plate of meat like on a plate too like someone had hit it there <gasps> Fuck. wow that slime is uh, uh hurts oh and i gotta be close to leveling up I guess I gotta I gotta get used to there's a little bit of give on that ledge. <laughs> I forgot that's kind of an a, a uh, as you're going upstairs you're kinda always throwing the water bottle. The holy water. The holy water on What? Did that is that supposed to do that? <laughs> Why did I go all the way back then? Okay. The first two bricks of the next ledge are illusionary. I Maybe I should have read. So leap as if they are not there. Looking to land Simon on the third brick. Leaving one last skeleton swordsman to battle through to the next screen. Bust up the skeleton swordsman ahead. Drop to the platform below to take the stairs down to the next ledge. All right, so you're not doing it right. I really could use a level up right now. The slime is 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 deadly. <sighs> oh, holy water. probably happens is you don't level up in the castle or something like that. <laughs> eh, that probably wouldn't. Right. My experience is zero. Why is my experience zero? <laughs> this game makes no sense. <laughs> Shit, I did it again. Oh my god. Mr. Short-Term Memory. Oh! Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll reload. We'll reload. Let's reload. Because we've learned... We've learned a lot. <laughs> we didn't get very far.
Yeah, I, I really got to just, I gotta leap. I gotta trust that I can leap further. Here's where we're at. <laughs> it's not that far. Here comes the gargoyle though. Fucking gargoyle. That's what hurt me last time was that gargoyle. Here we go. The leap as if they're not there. Ha <laughs> ha. I, I don't. I almost don't want to save. I think I won't. Cause I I I could have I could have done better there. Okay. Okay. Where was I? So leap as if they're not there. Looking to land Simon on third book. Leaving one last hand to battle through the next screen. Okay, bust up the skeleton source and source my head, dropping to the platform below to take the stairs down to the next. He's throwing bones. I think I was supposed to go, just a drop there and then walk down me. Okay. Turn left and go up the stairs, leaping across the spikes ahead to speak to the cloaked salesman who is selling oak steaks for 50 hearts. Purchase one at the task for the task ahead, making sure to not waste it before the time comes to. I assume I had. Now I only have six left. But I did. Still don't want to save though. All right. Leap back across the spikes. Drop down to the ledge below. Going down the stairs on the left to take the next set after the down another ledge. I feel like I'm being I'm I'm on a call with customer support. It says drop down. Drop down, right? Drop down, going down the stairs to on the left. Take the next set after down another ledge. Yeah, that's <laughs> There's a door. Am I supposed to go through the door? All right, let's look at this. All right, leap across the spikes. Okay, head right. Wait, let's see. Going down the stairs on the left to take the next set after that down to another ledge. Head right and equip holy water using it to find the illusionary blocks near the pillar.
I wonder if it's down. Oh, I think I see where I talked about. It. I think. I think that's what I was supposed to not do. Right? Yeah, that's what I was not supposed to do. <laughs> well, I think I I think I did it wrong. Go back up. Go away. Here. Come over here. Oh shit, a gargoyle. They give good heart, though. <laughs> oh, shit! I wasn't watching. I looked at the chat. Why are they doing this to me? Is there another way? Let's go this way. He's guarding that stairs too, fi too, too fiercely. Yeah, that's good. Fuck. Really? Uh. I don't want. Oh shit. I wish they had this had what the Nintendo one has, which is like rewind. Although it only has a one minute of rewind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like how did how did they think that was fun? Now I'm like, I'm lost. Okay, I know where I'm at. Argoyle. Now the guys who were making this were like, nah, the kids will love the invisible floors. They'll eat it up. They'll just love it. <laughs> oh fuck, I did it again. Uh... It's funny because when I, I, I learned that, jam into music. Oh. <laughs> right as I jumped, I, I remembered. Because yeah, I think, I just keep thinking it's a, it's a regular area and not, uh... <laughs> what was it? Note how the enemies cannot walk on air. Yes. It did it mentioned that in the walkthrough. Actually. It said look at where the, the, the skeleton is walking. So you, you didn't really reveal too much. Okay, here we go. Remember, use the force. 
Those bra those bricks are not there. They are but an illusion. Oh, I didn't make it. I, I, I remembered this time, but I just didn't make it. I got I got too nervous. <laughs> Is it the same animation? <laughs> And they're not water, they're slime. Well, shit, I figure I'll, here, all right, let's, uh, all right, we're, we're reloading. Okay. I was just thinking I'm at the point that I remember. I guess the only thing I don't have is the spike, but I can, I can get that again. Yeah, I can understand, like, once you learn it, like, especially if you play it over and over and over again, that you would totally learn this game and where to go. You know, and you tell your friends, oh shit, guess what I learned today? Hahaha. <laughs> Well, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons with my friend, <laughs> so <laughs> so I was probably a weirdo too. <laughs> yeah, I've shown it on stream before. I have all my oh shit, I have all my uh, D and D books and everything. <laughs> All right, thanks for lurking. Okay, here we go. Aha! I remembered. Why do this? Why do his bones catch fire? That is also seems kind of weird. Uh, think about it. How do I have enough? I And why would he be in this castle stelling oak steaks? That seems awfully odd, too. This game seems weird. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, leap back. Across the spikes, drop down to the ledge below. Going down the stairs on the left and take the next stairs after that down to another ledge and head right and equip the holy water using it to find the illusionary blocks near the pillar. Leap across the stairs. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's one stake. Yeah, it's just one thing. Drop down, go down again. And I think it was down again. It really, it was past this. I think it was, yeah, it was right there. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Save. <laughs> Leaping across the stairs. All right, wait, okay. 
leaping across to scale the stairs, whipping the skeleton swordsman to open up the path to a glowing orb on a pedestal. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. There is a glowing orb on a pedestal. Alright, so what about this glowing orb? Alright. Let's read a little bit further ahead here. Uh, okay, equip the oak stake. All right, whipping this called sword to open up the glowing All right, equip the oak stake and hurl it into the glowing orb, revealing a bag. So grab it to gain possession or to possess. Yeah, it really does say that. Of Dra Dracula's rib. Oh, I got a bag of ribs. <laughs> this is the perfect item to equip most of the time as it gives Simon a shield to deflect incoming fireball attacks. Oh. All right. All right, so. You now possess Dracula's rib, or I'm sorry, process, you processes Dracula's rib. <laughs> How do you process? How do you process? Processes Dracula's rib. <laughs> uh, it's funny how they've never fixed that. Here we are, you know. This game's, what, 40 years old? And it's still maybe 30 years old? Still not fixed? That's hilarious. Alright. It says, With this valuable treasure collected, it is time to exit the mansion. So, two options are available. The first is to go back to the left, Dropping through the false floor, leaping to the leaping to the left, across the gap's head, battling past the gorgals and knights, exiting the screen to find a path leading to a long staircase, leading up to the first major hallway of the mansion. Head to the left here, jumping the gaps, fall down to the left side of the room, exiting the mansion. The alternative is to go back through the route that was taken to get through the mansion, but it's only uh, advisable to go this way if you're seeking to get a repl replacement oak stake for use in future man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To, <laughs> to process it as a McRib. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well we have the rib. Oh, that's, it's the little bone over there. <laughs> oh, look, I have a shield now. Oh, wait a second. How, how am I using the rib as a shield? That rib looks awfully like a shield. So it said fall. It said go ahead and fall through here. And go left. Kind of what I was doing before. Shit. Did I save after the, the rib incident? I don't think I did. But that's that's fine. It wasn't too hard to, to get the rib. There was no boss or anything. As the kids say. <laughs> Alright, let's uh equip Yeah, that's what it said. Dracula's view processes Dracula's rib. Alright, so I mean we'll go equip equip, equip the rib. 
But let's uh let's save it. Like I should have saved it right after that. I don't know what I was doing. Now where am I supposed to go? I think it's just keep going left, right? Go back to the left, dropping to the false floor, leaping to the left across the gaps ahead, battling past the gargoyles and knights, exiting the screen to find a path leading to a long stair. Leading up to the first major hallway of the mansion, head to the left from here, jumping the gaps to fall down the left side of the room, exiting the mansion. Oh, you think I should? Okay. It said I didn't have to, but... They did work. They did deflect the fire. I can remember some things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remembered. <laughs> I remembered. But thank you. I know the delay sometimes. this theme's gonna get stuck in my head at some point. Oh, I don't know if I have enough to... Yeah, see, I don't have enough hearts. Let's see how many I have. Oh, I only, I'm, I only need two. I just needed to kill one more skeleton. Yeah, it was probably oh just over ambitious. What just it needed help. It just needed it needed uh for you to be able to help and you know. Can I even go back up that way? Or do I need to Hey Negase, how's it going? Yeah, it does it does have a super good theme. I agree with that. Crap. But then I drop through here. Helps if you actually whip him. I was like, I got a shield. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now whip the shield. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, water man that shoots fire. <laughs> oh wait, I forget. I forget about the uh, the holy water. <laughs> oh, totally. Is it bad that it's night and I'm going to the town? Oh, yeah. Apparently, don't go to the town while it's night. We're just waiting for the day, daytime now. The guide said something like, like it, it was that like every second in real time is four minutes in, in like game time or something like it. It actually had chains can be fun. <laughs> Here's the morning. I just want to go to the church and heal up because I'm almost dead. Yay! Save. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a quick break. I've been going for a while. Actually, we're going to end early today, but not not right now. We're going to end at six, so we still got an hour and a half. So I think we'll take a break and then come back for another hour and a half. Probably end this. See how far we can get. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Let's take a quick break. Let me put some words on stream up while I take a break. Get it up and going here. This, this music's totally going to get stuck in my head. I mean, he's doing so much with the MIDI music right here. It's, it's, it's really impressive, actually. But... All right. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to run a few commercials. Hope you stick around to support the stream. I'll be back in few minutes. See you then.
Hey, Justin. I'm back. There's no plural for anal? Seems incorrect. <laughs> See, Mega Mario Bear agrees. Every year, I have to take my anals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Level five. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> The annals. Oh, there you go. Army of toasters. <laughs> oh, no, I'm wrong. Errol. Relab is to lab again. Hold on, I gotta find my phone. I'll be right back. Oh no! Sorry. No, I had to go because uh, a friend of mine, uh, you know, who doesn't really, it's just a co-worker, bought his wife, uh, a co-worker bought his wife a Neil what the fuck pillow. <laughs> and he sent me a, a uh, picture of her opening the birthday present. And this was her, this was the birthday present. <laughs> so I had to go respond. That was a respondable thing. <laughs> oh, shit.
he did say, let's see, what did he say? Said. He said, big win on the birthday. <laughs> There's not two H's. <laughs> exactly. Good point, Justin. His response is shoff. Let's go to the next level. Level nine. So obviously X is fake. Did I type Hine? I meant to type nine. I had to look to see if the H key was, I just type, I don't really think about it. So sometimes I don't remember which keys are next to one another because it's kind of just instinctual now. <sighs> nice ride right at the end there. All right, up next is level 12. Here we go. Oh, you know what? We're not listening to... Uh, we need to be listening to... Oh, I guess we don't have it because... I don't have the screen up. Oh well. I was say, why aren't we listening to Castlevania music right now? So C is fake. Don't use the C.
Lava, of course. Here, I'm putting in lavi. <laughs> lavi. Lavi. <laughs> Anally. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Level 14. What do you mean, what? What? Lanai. Yeah. You haven't heard of that word? I intentionally wrote that. I, I mean, that's a, um, yeah, like a porch. Alani. Never heard that. I, I've I've shopped for so many apartments over the years. They always kinda like oh it's across from the Lanai. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? It's just a fucking porch. <laughs> Have we finished out? We have we figured out what the any of the J's probably fake, right? What is that missing word? Missing letter. It's not an E. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It's an A. A is the missing one. We passed. On the catwalk. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Alright. Level 16. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, it's five letters and five letter words and above now. Five letter above, five letters. <laughs> right, said Fred in a long time. <laughs> well, part of that song is I'm on the catwalk or something like that. And that's when I thought of catwalk, that's what I thought of. Spurt. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's what I thought. I'm I'm notoriously bad with lyrics. I always get lyrics or lines from movies just a little wrong. I get kind of the the uh the piece of it, but I don't I don't quite get it right. <laughs> v. All right, so it's an extra R, and the V is fake. Extra R, and the V is.
Yeah. I think think there was stirrups. Stirrup. I don't I don't know how to spell it. I think we were close though. Oh well. A spur would have saved us. Oh well. Okay. We did well. Level 16 is good. I always hate that this game ends on a down note that you end up you know, you end up uh, dying. All right. So, good job past Mega Mario Bear Negase. Great job. Thanks Army of Toasters for joining us. All right. Um let's get back to this, but first, before we get back to this, we'll we'll go back to that so we can hear the awesome music. We are voting for my next, not my next game, because the next game is going to be Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. But the game after that is is one of the following games. So if you go to that Google form, uh, you can pick you pick one your your top pick. There's a lot on the list, so pick your top five picks. So you're ranking which five you would want me to play. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then from there, I will somehow determine <laughs> the right one. So there, use that link to vote. See how many people have voted already. Take a look. Oops. We have five responses so far. Oh. Go out there and vote. Okay. So let's bring back up the walkthrough. Another town, another mansion. Head right to enter some gloomy woods, whipping the skeletons and bats. So we have already gone the wrong way, I guess. Uh, we should have gone the other way. It's okay. The next screen is short, but it boasts an annoying foe in the <laughs> Tarantulas and the webs they shoot. Run past them and jump up just before they attack, throwing off their aim, whipping the skeleton to start climbing the ledges, going right through the narrow opening in the next area. Okay. All right. Thanks, Lost Wolf. All right. So, I mean, I don't regret going back to this town because I needed to, but let's, uh, let's head. Head back the other direction. Gaining ex fuck. Get me out of there. Gaining experience. I don't I don't get what's going on here. How, what am I supposed to be I'm not supposed to be doing something, am I? Experience total, okay, the total gained by heart type is low. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I have a walkthrough. 
Aw, that's cool. It's quite different from uh, Metroid Prime. <laughs> but that's kind of why I mix it up, so I'm not playing the same game over and over again. To say, where's my shield? My shield's supposed to be deflecting those. <laughs> oh, is that the oh that's the castle at, at, during the day, I guess. Yeah, I don't wanna, oh see now I've got two. Now my experience is going up. Weird, I don't Oh shit. Bat. I see. Boy, those are annoying. <laughs> okay. Run past them and jump up just before they attack, throwing off their aim. Whipping skin going the right through the ah. Run across the ledge ahead, whipping eyeballs, <laughs> passing through the opening area on the far side, facing more eyeballs and bats on the next ledge. Once Simon goes down the ledges, use holy water on the bottom two blocks to destroy them, opening the path to the left. Once Simon goes down the ledges, use holy water on the bottom two blocks. To I guess we'll We'll see it as once we get there. Eyeballs. Oh, I think I see. Like that? You have it. Okay, I destroyed them. <laughs> Opening path to the left, where the constantly spawning enemy will need to be dispatched, allowing Simon to snag the sacred flame by destroying the blocks found by the tall water with holy water. Oh no, it's night time. No. <laughs> Someone was comparing it to Zelda 2 earlier. Fucking bat. Oh, is that the flame? You now possess the sacred flame. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely more Zelda 2 like. <laughs> I now possess the sacred flame. Ah. All right. Head right, but battling all foes to go off the screen to the right side, facing skeletons and tarantulas once again. Battling past foes, this time it is better to kill the tarantulas due to the layout of the land. Exit the screen, finding an area with skeletons and a large staircase leading downwards. Ignore the, the stairs for now and go right, killing skeletons to find another screen 
with the combo of skeleton and tarantulas pass through the screen to finally reach a new town. All right, cool. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, I will do as much the voting type of thing that you talked about as I can. See if I can actually tabulate shit. I think I did it in such a way that I can do that. That ignore the stairs. Fucker. Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't seem to kill him. Oh, but it's nighttime. <laughs> this for KR. Yeah, I shouldn't have let those spiders reach. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I need I need to Yeah, where were those moves for for uh Where are those moves for Zelda 2? <laughs> well, see, I thought I thought the bad guys were harder in Zelda 2. For some reason, like they started out hard instead of like escalating. Maybe they did a better job of balancing this game. Jet. Jet. AC cursed me there. Saying I was doing a good job. Good, it's morning. Of course, I'm about to get killed by these webs. Maybe the webs will go away. Of course, they won't. Oh! I died. Oh no. Go to this. There a town looks abandoned. Where's your church? Right, they should build a bridge there. I guess I don't need the church. My problem is, is I've I've died so many times. I'm worried that. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. Although I think if you die, if you run out of men, I think you continue from where you were. But if you start with a password, you start back at the beginning or something like that. Anyway. All right, we're in the new town. Enter the first open door, of course, and use the holly, holy water, or the Hollywood water, as I called it, to destroy the floor. I'm hoping I can get back to the front. That guy looks weird. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. Did he just do that? Like, okay, but did he just do that? He did. Okay, it, it says that's what I need to do, so I just inadvertently accidentally did something that I... <laughs> that is so weird. 
that oh and you get this white crystal and then you got to take it to this place and turn it in for a blue crystal maybe I mean the the uh, controls are much simpler right there's only two buttons I'm not scanning and jumping although the controls so I was playing a little bit of hunters to get it to get it all set up holy shit the the controls on that are gonna be wild because <laughs> you're using the stylus to look around on the DS and then you're also using your left hand to to fire and move so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be weird that's gonna be a weird game to play all right so uh pimping is quite into the first door and use holy water to destroy the floor walking down the stairs to find a gray cloaked salesman who is pimping his garlic you only need two pieces of for the entire game so buy him once making sure to not waste any on your adventures uh, though it can be used as a weapon on mobile enemies so use it if you wish, but not worth it. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? But then it didn't seem like you could look around. Use the two buttons and basically play two. Oh, okay. The garlic pimp. There he is. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that might actually work better. I'll look at that when I when I mess with it later. Yeah, I was I was getting the screen ready for it um, so I'm gonna do like I did the other DS games where I'll have a mode where the main screen is bigger and the secondary screen is smaller but I can push a button and we'll go into dual screen mode if we need to kind of cool although it's probably not gonna be like um, Zelda where like or you can tell me, is there is there a point where you're fighting enemies and you have to have both screens, one on top of the other? Because that was annoying. And, and... Okay. Well, I'll have the button. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. So I got two garlic. Got it. Okay. This looks like a set of balls. It's a nice set of testicles there. Oh, that's garlic. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's what it looked like to me. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. <laughs> All right, let's see. Though so it can be useful. All right, head right from this door, ignoring the next door, continuing to the right. Staircase appears before Simon. Scale it. Move right again briefly, entering the door that appears. The holy water floor destruction. Wait. Right from this door, ignoring the next door. see entering the door okay <laughs> the guy the guy sold me some testicles and there are two so it's okay oh 
shit. You can't even go up that way. Okay, I see. It's the one right above me. It's so hard to read these directions sometimes. I mean, and understand exactly what they're talking about. <laughs> Did you, you clipped it? That's good. <laughs> That'll be a good clip. It's so weird that you have holy water to the sh Like, how would you find any of this stuff? So, buy some laurels? Hey, okay. Wait, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head down into the basement and buy some laurels from the Great Cloak Zone. This... Okay. Okay, I did have enough. Okay, now I have laurels. I know, the song is so... Uh, this is Konami. Nah, uh, Konami. Because if it was Nintendo, it would actually be on the Switch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> They're whipping this guy. <laughs> thinking he's a bad guy all right so we got the blue crystal so with this town all finished up head out of town by going to the east entrance entering the graveyard yeah I have the blue crystal I already got the blue crystal is it though it's the water crystal okay oh was it really well, we were talking about the tip line earlier. Yeah. Well, I would assume you could still call the Nintendo hotline. Because everything ha back then, everything, well, still now, <laughs> everything has to be licensed by Nintendo. Um, so I bet you they would help you. Of course, we'll help you with the Konami game if you call. Oh, t really? Oh. <laughs> That's bad. All right, so we enter the graveyard. Immediately use a clove of garlic to make an odd fellow appear in front of Simon, who will bestow the silver knife upon Simon once the vampire hunter speaks to the fellow. <laughs> Head back to the left, passing through the town to the next screen, getting to the area with the skeletons and a large staircase leading down to the ground. Head down said staircase by going to the right to exit the screen and finding skeleton. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, I mean, that's sad when. Uh, well, they probably were thinking. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. I gotta use the garlic. Hold on. I gotta use some of my testicles. How do I use it? Oh, there it goes. Oh, the mysterious man appeared. I'll give you the silver knife to save your neck. All right. So now I have... I don't... It's not in my inventory. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Oh, look. Oh, it's gone. But the ball... The... The testicles were sitting there on the on the uh, on the on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Justin. <laughs> exactly. It's so weird. Whoops. I 
I should probably- Oh fuck, I was about to say I should save. <laughs> oh my goodness, hopefully I have everything. Okay, I do. Ooh! Alright, well let's, uh... Save. Is that what happened? All my hearts and XP are gone? Okay. Well, okay. I'm not in it for the hearts or the- Well, I am in it for the hearts, but... Oh no, it's becoming night again. It's true. I mean, well, you definitely uh, get that kind of... It probably looks smoother on a CRT. Because, you know, having worked on a game that was especially made for a CRT, it was rendered... We rendered it in such a way so that it looked better on the CRT. Yeah. Oh, really? Eyeballs! Did they have floating eyeballs? <laughs> All right. Head down the second, going to the right to exit the screen, finding skeleton items. The higher path through this area leaves li leaves little room to fight off. The eyeballs, but the lower path has watery death waiting for those that miss a single miss them. So choose whichever path sounds better for playing skill. When going to the next screen, do not hold right like you would normally, as there is a l lake right in front of Simon. Equip the blue crystal and kneel by the water, waiting for the screen to scroll down a bit, allowing Simon to descend. Looking to go through the opening on the right side of the screen. Enter the doorway ahead to gain access to the Rover Mansion. I see. Oh, I see, I see what they mean by misstep now. Yeah, I think I'll go this way. <laughs> Equip the blue crystal. That's, how are you supposed to know to do that? That is such bunk. Yeah. Yeah, so I know, like, for Madden, we rendered it every other... So we rendered... 60 fields per second so we were rendering every other line and because of the flicker of the TV it looks better that way so it seems counterintuitive Ooh, that was close. but somehow it, it works Okay. Okay. All right. So knights and skeleton knights and skeleton swordsmen will greet Simon at the door. So whip them into shape <laughs> or out of shape, whichever suits your linguistic needs. While Simon goes to the right, ignoring the staircase, leap across the water to the raised ledge, following by leaping to the right, passing the illusionary blocks. Trust me, they are not there. Okay. To head right, to head right to the exit, the exit the screen. Okay. That's true. Yeah. I 
I said don't worry about the... get hit. Okay. Aha! I can't, how are you supposed to know that? Uh... Okay. Deal with the skeleton swordsman while going right past some stairs. If you have an oak stake from the previous mission, skip to the next paragraph. Okay. Okay. Uh, back to the left. Uh, to go up the three flights of stairs that are guarded by a lot of skeleton swordsmen. That's the three flights of stairs. Oh, you do remember this part? Go up these stairs. Harry Potter did it. Of course he did. Alright. Let's see. I'm not really... I'm just going. The next challenges are some precarious leaps back and forth through a long vertical shaft. So make sure to not jump too early or late or else fall. a long fall will mean having to climb all the way back up to the top once more. Upon reaching the top, cut a path through the monsters ahead to go down the next flight of stairs. Well, let's, since we're here, let's save. We go up. I guess it's saying all of these. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I see. Now I see what it's talking about. Better hope none of that water comes, comes crashing down. See, this would be where they would hide wall meat, right here. That'd be a good wall meat. Yeah, some some platforming just right there. Oh, let's see. Let's go left on the train. Okay, upon reaching the top, cut a path through the monsters ahead and go down the next flight of stairs, turning left to walk until another vertical shaft appears which is where Simon should drop down to the bottom. Now move to the right, equipping the oak stake and hurling it into the glowing orb in the large room with the hung bodies, revealing Dracula's heart. Sadly, it's still, you still have to process it rather than possessing it. So I think it may become a regularity. <laughs> That's funny. I guess who was who was translating this stuff? It is. You now process Dracula's heart. <laughs> 
Process, 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 process. <laughs> so where's his heart? Oh, there's his heart. I wonder what his heart does then. Let's look at this again. All right. With the treasure in hand, it is now time to escape from the mansion. So repeat the passage to get all the way down to the bottom floor of this area where you can head right briefly to get another oak steak. Uh, or just head left to the next screen, continuing to left to find the exit of the Rover Mansion. All right, so yeah, I guess we should go get the steak. Why? Okay, I was like, why am I not jumping? jump down, right? Yeah. <laughs> but not there. Here, we'll load it. <laughs> Don't try and jump down right there. Hilarious. I do have the heart. Okay, I guess the orb's just back. I guess it was this way, right? Oh shit. Mario jump in there. Oh fuck. So that'll just make it easier for the next. For the, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, Lost Wolf. Thanks for hanging out. I'll probably be going in just another 30 minutes or so, and then we'll be wrapping up. Oh, shit. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for voting on the 
the next uh, game. Or one of the next games. I don't say the next game, because the next game is a Metroid Prime game. Oh, thank you. Jump! Jump! Oh, shit. That, that's game over. I lost everything, didn't I? Whatever. Yep, see you around. Alright, so I... I now have the heart. Head back up through the hidden lake entrance, crossing the water, Plays on the next screen with great care. Watch out for the eyeballs. Followed by scaling the large staircase. Head back up through the hidden lake entrance, crossing the waterways on the next screen with great care. Okay, I, just, I think it's just saying. Or, or is it saying... Or is it saying here? Oh, because you can't go up there. I'm confused. I, I'm, let's see. Followed by scaling the large staircase on the screen after that. Best. Past Berkeley Mansion. Okay. And across the river, arriving back at the town Jova. Fill up at the church before continuing to move west. Exiting the town to find the first entrance of lizard men and wolves, followed by swamp creatures. Okay. I guess I'm just heading back. This has more backtracking than a Metroid Prime game. <gasps> no! No! Oh, fuck. Why was the garlic equipped? Urgh. Well, let's. We're reloading. And let's not have... Let's not have... My testicles. I don't want to just whip my testicles out like that. There we go. We can save right there. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't think I did. Save.
the morning. It looks about the same. Still bats and eyeballs, even though it's daylight. Ah! Oh my god, that bat has is, is destroyed me. Ask this way. Fucking water man. So do I go, wait, I say, uh, is the town of Jova the first town we came across? Yeah, so I just keep going. So I keep going until I get to the, um, keep going. Don't go down those stairs. I'm almost dead. How nice and sunny it is. Oh, I forgot about this. die but I also don't want to redo all that Back to the original town. Oh. And I still go even though, oh my God. What is going on here? Oh, I can't, I can't go in. Oh, that sucks. I'm I'm killing the the people of the town. Terrible. Look, does time pass? Let's see, 19. Okay, time is passing in the in the town. I was worried that you go in the town and time doesn't pass. I'm sitting here killing killing people. You know, you're in the town. 
It should stay. It should stay daylight. All right, cool. Hey, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. I mean, it is good music. I'm gonna rock and kill this green monsters and get hearts, I guess. I have 168 hearts. Oh, does that mean it's 6 a.m.? Oh no, it's probably 6 day, 1 a.m., 11 minutes, I bet. I bet you that. I still can't believe that there none of this is up on the screen. You have to hit the pause menu to get any of this data. Time the sun comes up. You think six? Oh, let's see what it is. Sam. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to go to the church because I died recently. Okay. Fill up at the church before continuing to move west. Exiting the town to find the first instance of lizard men and wolves followed by swamp creatures. Use a laurel to cross the swamp without taking any damage. Followed by whipping through the next screen to arrive at the ferryman's crossing. <laughs> Used to whipping people. my shield. Holy shit, what was that? I have a shield. It's like a cougar. Or a puma. Oh my goodness. Alright, so is this where I use my laurels? Oh, I see. I'll take you to a good place. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Should I show him my testicles? Oh shit. Oh fuck. I guess I was supposed to leap out of the boat. <laughs> All right, um, equip Dracula's heart before speaking to him. Oh, <laughs> oops. He will say, let me show you the way in a manner that will seem straightforward and cheerful for a guy who spends his time hanging out on a fisherman's infested river while making the crossing. Be sure to stand in the middle of the boat. 
making sure to re-equip Dracula's rib upon reaching the far shore. Jump off the boat as he does not dock. Okay, well, I guess I did that anyway. Well. Kill the lizardmen and go to the next screen, arriving at the entrance to the third mansion. But Simon has a slight detour to take before entering. Continue to the left to jump across floating blocks in the water, making sure to leap off each block when it is rising to gain the necessary momentum to get to the next block. Leading to the next screen where mummies, vultures, phantoms, medusas, and Venus flytraps will attack. Whip through the various apparitions that are attacking, moving to the left to reach a brown cloaked fellow who will bestow a diamond. Okay. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Doesn't like this is, this is a town. Did he not take me to the right place? I don't think he took me to the right place. Let's go back. Do you remember how it said I had to equip the demon heart? Are these things? Alright. Now let me talk. Let me show you the way. Ah, I see there was a different sound this time. But I think that that's exactly that was a... Yeah. Again, how were you supposed to know that? Okay. Did you did you equip Dracula's heart in the right spot? Holy shit. Save. I was like, what? Right in the middle of a jump? You couldn't wait? I don't think it's about a momentum. I think it's, it's about the placement of the next one. Holy shit! I can't believe I made that. Save. <laughs> Save. Just making sure. Holy shit. Holy shit. What are these, these eagles? Ah! It's a... What was that? It was like... A, a bust from the haunted mansion. That was that was uh, frightening. Those eagles are fucking fucking tough. Oh my goodness. There's the Medusa heads. We like know and love. Oh, 
They seem a little bit easier in this game. Famous last words. I'll give you a diamond. You gave me a diamond. <laughs> oh man. With the new weapon in hand, battle back to the east, fighting the five different foes in the area, followed by carefully leaping across the blocks in the water, reaching the entrance to Baham Mansion. Okay. Oops, I think what we'll do is we're gonna, when we get to the mansion is where, yeah, I already got that. I will, uh, stop. <laughs> and we will continue. Continue later on tonight. Shit, they are so tough. It's like you have to get them while they're like hanging out in midair. Here come the blocks again. I want to save after every block. This game is interesting. Thanks everyone for being here. Um, so I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. I should say though, if you are out there and you have not voted on my next game after Metroid Prime Hunters. So we're going to finish this game. We're going to play Metroid Prime Hunters, which is a DS game. And then we're going to play one of the games on this list right here. So you get to vote. You get to pick your first, second, third, and fifth pick. And I will somehow determine the winner from that. Um, so, again, thanks everyone for being here. Um, so I'll be back in a few hours. We have a, The reason I'm ending at 6, normally I end at 7. You can see it says 3 to 7. I'm ending at 6 today because we have a... We're, we're, we're doing a recipe we haven't done before. It has to do with chi barbecuing chicken on the grill, and it's a little bit involved, and so we're leaving us extra time to cook dinner tonight. And so that's why I'm ending the stream a little bit early. But man, does the recipe look great. So I will tell you in the evening stream how it ended up. So hope you ha hope you can come back in a few hours, uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, sorry, not 7.30, 9.30 p.m. Eastern is when I'll be back. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for being here. If you're not, if you're out there and not following, please follow. 
and um uh if you can be like one of all these wonderful people right here and subscribe subscribers get ad free viewing and they also get all these tier one emotes like that so and oh and 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 you should uh you could also uh buy merch oh no like the neil what the fuck fellow or shirt let's see let's see ready oh oh yeah good enough <laughs> that would have been terrible it knocked my picture off the wall uh yeah thanks everyone let's see who's out there streaming that we can raid See who is out there? Uh, Arcade Bear is out there. We could we could raid him. That could be one of the ones we do. I guess we shall do Arcade Bear. Burp, 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 burp. Medium mobile hardware and software. Ah. Uh, He was here earlier too, so that seems right. Okay. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Hope to see you back here soon. I'll be back in a few hours, all right? Thanks again. Art, have a good one. Ah. <laughs>